Tyree Jackson is the quarterback out of University of Buffalo. NFL prospect. Uh, first of all, you got to know this. This guy is incredibly gifted as a quarterback. The ability he has to throw the football is unbelievable. Cannon for an arm. He's really, really huge. You can't tackle him. He can run. And because of his gigantic arm and the fact that he can throw the ball all over the field, he can make throws other quarterbacks simply cannot make. It's very, very impressive. There's a throw against Miami of Ohio. He extends the play to the left. He gets outside the pocket, flicks the ball down the left sideline into the tightest, smallest little window you can imagine. If he misses a throw by inches, it's an incompletion. That's a high level, really an NFL throw. You go, oh, wow, that's a, that's a really, really great throw. It's a perfect location. Well, there's another play in the same game against Miami of Ohio. He extends the play to the left, chucks the ball like 60 yards, literally, I think, 60 yards in the air downfield, and you go, oh, my goodness. Your your eyes kind of pop out of your head, and you go, that's a different cat. This guy throws the ball differently than other quarterbacks. Plus, he's huge. You can run the ball. You can't tackle Tyree Jackson. He's like a freight train. He's really similar to Drew Locke, but he's far worse. The good is incredible. He makes some throws. You go, Wow, that is impressive. But the bad plays from Tyree Jackson make you want to go hide under a rock. They are awful. They are awful. He makes far too many bad decisions. There's a throw against Kent State where he just throws the ball for grabs into triple coverage. Like, what are you doing? There's three defenders there. There's two of your wide receivers. You're just kind of chucking it deep. That's not a good decision at all. Tyree Jackson is all over the place. He makes really bad decisions. He's inaccurate. Sometimes he's got really poor ball location. And it really, when you watch his, the re, part of the reason for this is because his mechanics are not very good. When you watch him throw a football, he looks like a pitcher in baseball. It's all arm. He doesn't have a great base beneath him. And these are fixable mistakes. His accuracy issues are fixable, fixable problems. He never had a private quarterback coach growing up. I, I feel bad for the guy. I, I had help when I was a kid. I had a guy who worked with me for free, helped me do my mechanics. Tyree Jackson never had that. Simply, Tyree Jackson needs to work on fundamentals, the, the basic fundamentals of throwing a football. When you watch a guy like Baker Mayfield throw the football, he's got a great base beneath him. He uses his legs and he uses his core to create torque and drive the ball downfield. Baker, I, I, I will die on this hill. Baker has the best mechanics in the entire NFL for optimizing arm strength, for getting the most out of your body. If Tyree Jackson's mechanics were half as consistent as Baker's, then I think not only would his accuracy skyrocket, I think he'd even increase his velocity a little bit because if he can learn to use his legs and use his core to drive the ball downfield to stay on balance, he would dramatically improve. But right now, he's just not ready to play. His mechanics are all over the place. He's inaccurate. He makes bad decisions. In college, he often threw to his first or his second option. He rarely worked all the way through his progression. And he doesn't have much patience. He doesn't have the ability to take what the defense gives him. You never really see him throw the ball away. That's not who he is as a quarterback. You see him trying to force the ball downfield into coverage. But somebody's going to fall in love with Tyree Jackson. Some team is going to look at him and go, we can use his talent and turn him into a great quarterback. That's what happened with Patrick Mahomes. I think a team like the Broncos would be a great fit for Tyree Jackson, where he can go and sit and learn behind a quarterback like Joe Flacco for a year or two, maybe even three. But if a coach can consistently bring the best out of Tyree Jackson, then literally he could become an NFL MVP. He's that talented. Physically, he is the most gifted quarterback in this draft class. But you got to harness it. You got to get him more consistent. You got to work on his mechanics. You got to improve his decision-making. And if you don't do all that stuff... He's not going to succeed in the NFL. He's got to learn how to work all the way through progressions before he can ever become a starter in the NFL. However, I will say this. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to watch Tyree Jackson in the NFL preseason. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a beautiful, chaotic mess. And I really believe in the preseason next year with Tyree Jackson, he could make some incredible plays that make all of us turn our heads and go, oh my goodness, that's, that's just a wild throw. Because that's what I saw on film. What I saw on film when I watched Tyree Jackson at Buffalo is a guy who regularly wows you and regularly makes you go, oh, come on, man, we're all rooting for you. That's a terrible decision. You know it, I know it, we all know it. If Tyree Jackson can get the best out of him all the time, if a coach can harness the best of Tyree Jackson, he will be an un 
unbelievable special quarterback. His ceiling is so much higher than guys like Jarrett Stidham or Ryan Finley. The amount of potential that Tyree Jackson has, while admittedly basically meaningless if he can't figure out the other stuff, but if you can get the best out of Tyree Jackson, he could become one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports, and it is my favorite thing in the entire world. I love it. Uh, in fact, my dream is to someday do Strong Opinion Sports as my full-time job. If you believe in me, if you believe in that dream, please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Maybe you put a screenshot of it, maybe you put it on Instagram. Uh, it does me a huge help if you can tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. Another way you can help me if you want, no pressure, I have a PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. I also have a Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. It does me a huge help if you want to. Um, and uh, really, if you have no money to give, no problem, please. The, the number one thing, if you want to help Strong Opinion Sports, the number one thing you can do is help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.